Hey, 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 royal fans, today's juicy installment. Meghan and Prince Harry are reported to have arrived in the UK on Saturday morning. It is their visit back to the Duke's home turf for the first time since their highly anticipated return for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. It is thought the couple touched down without their two children, three-year-old Archie and one-year-old Lilibet. Their visit comes in the wake of Meghan's appearance in New York's magazine The Cut, the latest in the Duchess of Sussex's high-profile interviews. Speaking to the media about deeply personal family relationships goes against the values of the Queen, a royal source has said. The source described the monarch as on tender hooks for the next nuclear bomb to appear in the press. One source revealed, it is hard to see how what they are doing would equate to the values of the Queen, who has never encouraged people to discuss deeply personal family relationships in public. Another then added, she doesn't want to be on tenter hooks all the time, waiting to see what the next nuclear bomb will be. That takes its toll. During the interview, Meghan referenced the 2019 London premiere of the live action version of The Lion King, wherein she said she spoke with a South African cast member. The anti-apartheid leader's grandson responded that his grandfather's imprisonment and campaigning can never be compared to the celebration of someone's wedding to a white prince. Dr. John Cunney, who voiced Mandrel Shaman Rafiki in the production, told Mail Online he was baffled by the Duchess's comment. He said, I have never met Meghan Markle. This seems like something of a faux pas by her. Another palace source then chimed in. Nelson Mandela? Who's next? Gandhi? There are simply no words for the delusion and tragedy of it all. This comes after reports claim Prince Harry and Meghan have no plans to meet with members of the royal family during their stopover in England. A source revealed, trust, particularly at the moment, is a big issue. Another added, I really can't see any progress in repairing their relationship until the documentary and book have come out and they see what he has to say. The family has everything to lose and nothing to gain. William is deeply hurt and believes his brother has crossed the line. Prince Harry's memoirs, which have been tentatively scheduled for later this year, are touted by the prince as a wholly truthful account of his life. I can't wait to see what's in that book either. Guys, that is our news for today. You know the drill by now. Leave your comments, like the video, and subscribe for more. Goodbye for now.